Good morning, everyone. You may not be able to hear me. Oh, shit. There's a package that's sitting in water. Okay, I'm back again. So have coffee with me this morning. Uh, the problem where I'm staying at is there's no privacy at all. The air conditioner is running, so you may not be able to hear me. So just read my lips. So what was in the package is this. I was supporting my uh, best friend's grandchildren in their baseball uniforms and their travel because they're a very good team. So this is caramel popcorn. So I was surprised that it came. Okay, so grab your coffee. Um, I've got two or three people staring at me. Uh, yesterday I went on a little walk and I kept finding pennies and quarters. So you know what I did? I picked them up. So, uh, go get your coffee. I've been here long enough to go through one whole bag of coffee and working on my second one. So, I'll be leaving in, the, in a couple days. I probably wore out my welcome because my daughter, uh, her personality has completely changed. She went from crying in my arms all night now she's like, uh, voice, <laughs> voicing her opinion, um, which I guess is a good sign. Um, of course, mother and daughter's getting these little tips. God, like I said, it's, it's, it's noisy here with these roosters. Um, you must have a lot of satisfied hens here, whatever. Um, So I've got some great looking elephant ears. I don't know if you can see them. I don't think you can. Let me, let me tilt the camera. See them? Beautiful. My daughter was trimming them and I said, oh, don't trim them. And then to the other side, I've got some beautiful cactus. Let's see, let's see. Aren't those great looking? Oh my God. So, um, the camera. Yeah, so um, I guess I'm getting on her nerves and this is the problem. She has been by herself for a while and I've been by myself for 14 years so it, it takes a lot to get used to someone living in your house and I get that. Uh, and my son and his girlfriend have lived there for four months. It was a great adjustment and yeah. That's why I'm scared to get into a relationship because it is so hard getting to know somebody new and their habits and their likes and dislikes, you know. So to get away from her every day I go to uh, a well-known eating place here and I stay about an hour and a half and um, I have my own table now because I need to get away from her and give her some quiet time. So, um, I am able to let you guys leave comments and I stayed up till like 2 a.m. last night reading all of them and I tried to respond to everybody and I want to thank all of you guys for your prayers. Yes. For your prayers. One guy enlightened me when he said that if I had called the authorities or the police on my daughter when she threatened to jump off a bridge, that if she had seen those police officers, she would have jumped. And that is why I love to hear other people's perspective because that would, that would have been exactly what she would have done. And, uh, so all I can do is pray about her. Uh, a lot of people wanted to know why I don't um, help her financially. It's because the little bit of money I have has to last me the rest of my life. And she has pretty much told me and her dad that she refuses to go to work. She does have a record and that makes it very hard for someone uh, 
but I, I do know that there are many businesses that do hire people with records. But she is not, she says, the mental capacity to even work for somebody else. But she does have that little small business, but um, sometimes she's kind of angry with her customers if they're not as smart as she is. And so this has always been her issue. When she was in fourth grade, she got uh, tested and she's on a genius level. But this is the problem. A lot of geniuses, just like Rain Man or whatever, he was on the spectrum. Um, some of them don't have ordinary, everyday common sense. Um, so there's nothing I can do about it. I, I don't see, uh, she is seeing a therapist. She is, uh, but she doesn't like her therapist. So, um, there's to all you that took the time to comment on that. She doesn't have health insurance. I kept health insurance when I was married to her dad for probably 15 years. And you would think that most adult children would have established themselves or been able to get a job that had health insurance, but she did not. She did not. She had the kind of job where there is no health insurance. So, maybe open this um, so I, I'm gonna <clears throat> leave my scooter here it breaks my heart because you cannot bring that scooter on a plane at all you cannot uh, because of the batteries because it's a battery pack so um, we are about a mile and a half from the main Key West. These are pretty good. Um, so in order to get anywhere, we got to ride that scooter. But the housing here is for where I'm at. Most people are paying what a nice apartment in Virginia would cover. Like a, you know, a 900 square foot apartment. She's paying it for like 400 square foot. So the cost of living here is very, very high. Mm. <clears throat> so I'll be going back and getting my friend to pick me up at the airport. And then I decided to go on my three month sabbatical. A lot of people try to help me with uh, housing or to live somewhere until the housing market kind of breaks a little bit. But I don't have anything substantial to fall back on. I don't have, you know, someone says, why don't you rent a room? Well, I, that's stupid because I got all my furniture in two storage units. So that doesn't help me alleviate those storage costs. It's still there. And um, so I, I've found a place that I can live, probably the cheapest. And um, all I need to bring is just my clothes, but I'm still stuck with paying the storage units. But Here's what I'm very surprised with in my life. I never thought I could live without my stuff. Yeah, yeah, I can. I'm living without it now and I don't miss anything in those storage units. I really don't. I probably have lipstick all over me, I'm sorry. It's like someone just took everything out of my house and I haven't seen it in three months and I don't miss it. But that tells you a lot. That tells you a lot. Um, so uh, I hope you guys can hear me. I've got people to the right and people to the left, but just within a foot or two of me talking. So um, I am very surprised at 
how my life has turned out. I'm surprised. I'm in shock that I haven't found somebody. So that's going to be my goal for the next three months is to go on dates and to try to be a little bit more tolerant and um, forgiving because nobody's perfect and I sure the hell am not. So I am going to go on um, some dates and get to know some guys and concentrate on myself and quit. I've, I've Ever since I sold my house, I've been trying to help other people. But if those people are not trying to change or they are being mean to me, that's not a healthy environment for me because uh, I remember when I was 16, I had my own car and I was working for the Fairfax County Fire and Rescue. Uh, my, my other two sisters did not like me, I guess, because I already had a, uh, my fiance. I was seeing, um, they, they were very jealous and they, they actually uh, got on top of me and started beating me. And um, they've never asked, they never told me that they're sorry. And I remember calling the police and the police officer got me a hotel and I actually went to work the very next day in the same clothes. And I would be forever grateful uh, and I went on to work for Fairfax County Police after that. Uh, it let me know that at any minute your life could change. And uh, I can't believe to this day that my sister tried to, uh, they were actually beating me up. I was devastated. I, they probably don't remember one of those sisters has now passed. But, um, know why people would be jealous of me. I, I sometimes I think my mother always was. Um, so enough of that. I don't, like, I don't like thinking about the past because that just brings me down, you know. Um, I want to make new memories with just myself and I want to find somebody I must find somebody that likes my company, that likes to try new things, that's not stuck in their ways too much. The only thing people need to know about me is that I don't like to talk until I've had two cups of coffee. Uh, and at night I like, uh, I haven't watched TV in a very long time, but I do like to read. So I'm going to get on TikTok a lot and do some little videos. I think that would be fun. Do the live streaming. Um, so if you're not on TikTok, I know a lot of people think that the Chinese or whatever is like trailing us. Well, I think the American government is tracking us too. So what the hell? So um, I love these earrings. I, my granddaughter, when I took her the last time to Ocean City, I found them in a store and then I misplaced them for about a year and found them. I haven't visited her yet. It's like I told my brother, he got to see his whole family and grandchildren at Christmas and I didn't get to see mine. So I told him, I said, my priorities is to see my son and my daughter, which I did, but now I'd like to go back and maybe see my grandchildren. They are in their mid twenties. so. They don't need me as much. So this is my time to stretch my wings and I'm pretty much fearless, but I do not like Key West, not at all. I just don't like anything about it. Um, yeah. So, um, oh, I don't like Key West for lots of reasons. Mostly because it's so goddamn expensive. <coughs> So again, thank you for your comments. I did not know that so many people were praying for me and my daughter. But there's no more I can do here. I, my ex-husband and I, which is her dad, we promised that we would not enable our grown children anymore because that was somewhat a problem. But I raised my children 
to be citizen loving and uh, to love animals and especially love music. Um, they were they spent a lot of time in church. I just wish maybe I had taken them a little more often. Uh, but you don't have to be a Christian to go to church. You don't have to love God to sit in that pew. Some of the worst people I know are uh, some of my relatives who go to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And some of the worst people I know. <laughs> All right, bye everyone.